Astrology Soulmates, it's me, Stormy Grace, and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of September 21st, where this week, man, we're going to have not only the equinox rolling in, we have the autumn equinox coming, the sun moves into Libra, we begin this space of rebalancing just off of coming out of Virgo season, seeing what the priorities are, seeing what we need to put down in order to really be healthy, but just because we put it down doesn't mean that we know exactly how to come into new balance. You know, it's almost after an injury or something like that, then you have to find the new balance, the new posture, how do you level that out? But we've also got Mercury, our mind moving into the energy of Scorpio at the end of the week. So truth and depth are going to be the ticket for us all the way until December. Mercury is going to have a long stay in this watery placement because of the retrograde we're going to experience as well. It's got a small dip into Libra, but mostly we're going to experience the theme of Mercury being in Scorpio. If you think back to last week when we had the Mercury-Pluto square that happened, whatever came up for you around about that time, um, so think on Sunday would have been themes that maybe you're going to be handling throughout this retrograde time and Mercury in Scorpio. So we'll get to that. I'll talk about all those goodies in just a minute. This week coming up on the Eat and Greets, we've got Rick Levine coming over on the 22nd. We're going to discuss 2021. What does that look like? As well as we're going to go into a little bit more depth with the Saturn and Uranus um, squares that will be happening three different times during the year. What it looked like in the past. What does it look like for us going forward? Then on the 23rd, we're going to welcome fellow YouTuber, Athen Chimenti, and he'll be here to talk to us about true sidereal astrology. And I'm still trying to just get that out of my mouth. So something really different than we usually study and talk about over here on this channel. So I'm really looking forward to bringing that to you. As well, you guys, we've got a free summit coming up. I'm pairing up with Astrology University, October 3rd and the 4th. So just a 48 hour good weekend summiting 16 different astrologers. We're talking about astrology plus world events, how we breed that in, how we look at those things. There will be a panel. I will be a part of the panel. Michael A. Bryan will be on that panel as well. So it's going to be a wonderful time. Shakira um, Taborn will be there. Vanessa Montgomery, all people who are coming to this channel to share astrology with us as well will be at that summit. So if you'd like to sign up, it is free. The link will be in the description box down below, plus all over my social medias and all of that good stuff. And if you want to get the all access pass, you can find out the details to that in the description box down below as well. All right, let's jump in. What in the world is happening this week? So as we're coming into the week, things really kick off energetically on Tuesday when we have the sun enter into the energy of Libra. So happy birthday, Libra. That's what I'm saying. But we also welcome in the autumn equinox. Now, if you're one of our friends who's maybe one of our Aussie friends, you're going to actually be welcoming in spring. But what we know is that either way, when we come to the equinox and the solstice points, our cardinal energies are taking us forward. They're bringing us forward into something new. Now here, in the U.S., as we're experiencing this autumn equinox, this is a time for us where it, it it's really comes down to rebalancing. It comes down to where do we balance the scales of what we've done this year, how we're feeling inside, outside about this year. What does the physical material place look like for us inside, out this, this year? You know, do we feel in balance in these areas? It's also a time, though. When we're here, even though we're starting something new, we're also beginning officially our preparations for winter or our preparations for summer, depending on where you're at. But here we're getting prepared for the cold time. When we go to ground, when we hibernate in, when we nestle in a little bit, we need to get the things done that we need to do while we still have daylight, while we still have the heat. So those are some of the questions I would ask you in your rebalancing that's happening that this um, equinox and the sun and Libra are bringing to your attention. Where are you seeing you need to also get balanced in your preparations for what's coming forward? Now, sun and Libra time is also a social time. Get together with people. Share your harvest. Talk about what's coming next. Enjoy that social energy that's very much so available to us. Your connections that you make right now in this social time could prove to be very beneficial in the seasons that come forward as well. Celebrate the beauty. Beauty. This is a Venetian time. Beautify your home, beautify yourselves, beautify the sacredness of the balance that you're trying to achieve. Okay, it's a wonderful, wonderful energy for that this week. 
As we get to the 23rd, we see Mercury in a square to Saturn who is still retrograde until the end of the month. Now, Mercury at this point is still in Libra. We've got Saturn over here in Capricorn and they're gonna square each other at 25 degrees. Now, this square, this is ultimately Mercury who wants to be very balance-minded, see all sides, um, diplomatic kind of energy. Bonking up and putting tension with Saturn, who's over in Capricorn, reviewing our structures, reviewing the way we've been doing things, reviewing the things that have had power over us in our lives. So this is a day where if you're having to go back over negotiations, contracts, interactions with other people, things like that, you actually have a really nice benefit to being able to see things, I think from a different perspective, a more balanced, more diplomatic perspective, especially if they are things that have governed your life from the past. Now, I also think that this is not the best day to talk about everything you've learned with all kinds of people, this may be a very solitary day for you where you are going back over those relationships. You are going back over that conversation. You are going back over the work. You have like the ability to double check and triple check and quadruple check to the finest. Like your, your, um, your vision and your laser for detail here is actually going to be very good because you're going to be seeing it from a different perspective than when you originally were looking at it. So use that day, do something really good with it, but just know that it also may be a day where there's a little bit more solitary work. And I think too, a big question that I have for all of us is what's been ruling you? What's been ruling us inside of us, in our heads? Where are you making space for a different level of authority to come in and you're seeing it in a way that ba you're more balanced now? The way you were living, you were thinking wasn't quite so balanced. Okay, we get to the 24th. And we've got Mercury now opposing Mars, who's retrograde. So Mercury's still over here in Libra. Mars is over here in the energy of Aries. And they are opposing each other, so going in different directions, at 27 degrees. So mark that down in your chart. Now, this is a day where you can absolutely, absolutely be a little bit primed for a fight. Mars is already in retrograde, so re-looking at the strategy, re-looking at the ego, re-looking at the identity, right? You've had this identity. I've made decisions. I've taken actions out of this identity for a very, very long time. Now here comes Mercury with all of his new ideas, challenging what I have thought I am for a very long time, what I thought this relationship is, these actions. I've been taking. So Mercury shows up and you're pulling in two different directions. You want to be diplomatic here, right? But Mars is also pulling on this other side. So there's a very heavy I am or this is kind of, kind of energy that's on that side. So I would tell you as you're going through this day on the 24th, okay? As you're going through that day, if you if you are having high interactions with other people, try to remember to be diplomatic and that maybe the opposition that's pulling you just need to find the compromise in the middle because there's something I think in you that is rising up and being challenged at the level of your identity, but you're also just fresh into Libra season. You maybe have not completely rebalanced something in your space and in your sphere. So instead of losing your cookies, you know, you have an opportunity with this energy to be very diplomatic, but to also hear out what's being said on the other side, okay? All right, as we close out this week, we get to September 27th and we see Mercury moving out of the energy of Libra, being super balanced, seeing all sides, very diplomatic into Scorpio, which is laser focus. Okay, Scorpio is phenomenal at getting a whole bunch of details together and then getting into them. It picks it apart. It's like, well, what really makes this up? What's really at the root of this? What's the truth of this? Scorpio is a phenomenal observer as well. So as Mercury moves into Scorpio, observe what you're saying. Observe what you're thinking. Observe what's being said to you. This is a space for looking for the truth. Now, sometimes Mercury and Scorpio can have this edge of being a bit snarky or a bit sarcastic, and people are kind of sensitive right now. We've got Mars retrograde. People are kind of pressure cookers out there, and that's not everybody. Some people are doing the work to release that energy, but you have to remember we live on the global sphere. So you could even be saying something to somebody and remember we've just had this opposition of identity and you say something and you don't mean it a certain way and they take it that way. So there is a sensitivity that is in the air, but the deal is here is that 
you're not in Libra energy anymore. You're not just looking to have nicey nicey. You are not looking for superficial energy or a superficial information anymore. There is almost a compulsion or an obsession to have the depth, to have the truth, and to have these deep conversations. And I think it's really a wonderful energy. I talked with Gemini Brett and both um, Gary Caton last week as well about Mercury in Scorpio and this sense that um, we need to practice the emotional intelligence that comes with the depth of Mercury being in Scorpio. So what truth is going to set you free? What truth, what root issues can you speak to this week, which actually do a lot of clearing and transforming in the mind, in the emotions, and in your relationships as we go forward and ultimately help you create and find out about that Um sun and libra balance that we're looking for this week and thus also set you free to continue to prepare for the next season so i think it's going to be a good week we've got conversations happening over here hopefully you know with these energies we don't explode the internet or anything like that which i don't think we will i think we'll have beautiful conversation over here this week so i look forward to seeing how this pans out and plays out for you please keep me posted in the comment section down below and i look forward to seeing you guys through the week there will be other little postings coming up and if you're on the email list you have seen the first portion of an upcoming um, newsletter gone out to you. So new things are coming around here as well. I'm trying to make our communication as free and as easy as is possible to include you guys. I am also looking at different routes for presenting the eat and greet so we can avoid some of the ads, but also how do you monetize those things. So lots of things are coming here and it is all thinking about how to get and share content with you in mind. Okay. All right, you guys, I love you and I will see you next week. Bye, everyone.